Palm Coast, Florida. What's so special about it? Why are so many people coming here? A lot of people are moving here from Florida. A lot of people definitely are moving here from out of state. Well, I'm about to find out. When you think of Florida, you're thinking of the beaches, and you think of Disney World for, to a lot of folks. Well, there's nothing about Disney World in this video, so let's start off with the beaches. Okay, I'm gonna start us off over here on Flagler Beach. Hey, and actually I'm at the Flagler Beach Pier, which is kind of a famous place for everybody to come hang out on their, on their leisurely time. And in fact, you might even catch some guys trying to catch a wave on the surfboards back there. Hey, as a Florida native, I grew up around the beach. I only lived like 10 miles from the coast, so I was always at the beach, so I love it. So I wanted to show you some of this. And what's so nice about this area here too, is all along the beach, they don't have a lot of high rises along the beach. And it's fun, even if you're not into fishing, going to the pier, the pier area is great because of all the little beach shops and the little restaurants. You just come down here and spend an afternoon. And if you're living in Palm Coast, this is literally just minutes away from your house. All right here, I wanted to take you on a little drive on the beach area here. Well, I'm going to show you another part of the beach too. We're going to hang out, but I wanted to show you just how you've got, you don't have all those high rises like I was talking about. Now you got a mixture here, you know, of a lot of businesses and residential. Of course, as you're closer to the pier, you're going to have more of the, uh, more of the businesses. But it mixed in here, you've got folks that have their houses, their beach houses. And what's neat, if you notice, there's a lot of two-story houses or three stories um, or or businesses and you see all the balconies and that's that's so that they've got a nice view of the beach you know if it's on the first floor of course the the cars and all are going to kind of block your block your view a little bit here check it out over here on the right that business we're up at top there the, the everyone's eating but I got all the umbrellas and all that's nice to have some shade but they're on the second floor there, so they get to see the ocean, you know, which is pretty cool. And you've, you've got a few of those around, which is kind of nice. You just see some more, you know, of all these, like, uh, you know, smaller shops and homes. And we're going to turn off right here. I'm going to park here. That'll be it. And then we're gonna, I'm going to take you over and, and walk over on the other beach that I want to show you, because it's pretty cool what goes on over there. Beaches out on near Palm Coast is great. Not only do you have the fishing pier that I just showed you in that area, but a little bit further down, further north of there, you've got where you can bring dogs on the beach and horses. That's right, you can provide a horse on the beach. In fact, I've worked it out the time shooting this video when there's a, there's a company that brings these horses down and has rides, offers rides, and they're going to be taking some group out on this on a, on a horseback ride adventure down the beach. So let's go check it out. Well, they're here. We can see the tra trailer coming behind us. So as soon as they park, then we're going to go check out the horses. All right. <laughs> well, now that we're up closer to the trailer, you can see they're unloading the horses now, getting ready for the ride. And they're instructing all the people that are going to be riding right now on, on what to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the beach, and then we're going to watch the horses as they're riding them down the beach. All right, check it out. The horses are coming onto the beach. This is so cool to be able to do this. It's very hard to find beaches that allow this. So what I'm gonna do, as they're all coming down and getting down to the beach, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and be kind of like a home movie. And I'm just gonna video them as they're walking by here, coming down the beach. This is really neat.
wanted to thank Equestrian Adventures of Florida for allowing me to tag along on their on their little trip here, on their excursion on the beach. It was great, made some great shots, and it's and if you're in the Palm Coast area, it's something you definitely got to try. I know I will be. Hey, let's move on to some more of Palm Coast. You know, Palm Coast has a lot of different types of housing, all the way from apartment buildings, townhouses, uh, single-family homes, new construction luxury homes to you know entry level homes for first time home buyers uh, there's a there's something for everybody they've got gated communities and all like see right behind me here you've got some new construction even though palm coast has been around for a while there are a lot of older homes to choose from if you want to buy a resale home but then there's a lot of new construction going on too in this area also there's lots for sale where you can build your own house so what I want to do is just, I'm going to take a drive around this particular neighborhood here because it has a mix of, you're going to see some new construction and lots for sale, plus homes that are existing. Okay, here we're going to take a ride through this, this one particular neighborhood. Now, a lot of these neighborhoods, the older neighborhoods, they'll, they'll look similar to this. Uh, some of them will have sidewalks, some don't. This particular one doesn't. Um, and you're going to have a combination of some older homes and some newer homes. And um, that's because there's a lot of lots that are still for sale. Um, coming up here, there's, there's a new home going in on the right. You can see that in construction. And you'll, you'll see that throughout this neighborhood. We may see another one. Um, you've got some vacant lots. As we come around this corner here, you see here's some nice wooded lots right over here on the right. So, and what's, what's nice about that, have, being able to get these vacant lots, is these are established neighborhoods, so that means there's a lot of trees and, and folks like that. And something else, most of these lots in Palm Coast are about 10,000 square feet, so that's a quarter of an acre. And some of them may even be a little bit more than a quarter of an acre, which is real nice because it gives you a lot of room, like in your backyard, um, if you want to put in a pool or you just want to do some some special landscaping to make like a theme in the backyard and entertain you know have have a special place for a barbecue pit or anything like that or um, just like a little fire pit also so it's it's pretty nice here you see a lot more vacant land on the side now well, not all of it's you know up for sale but you know as the price has been going up people have been been putting them up for sale so you're starting to see more now the average price, now a lot of these vacant lots around here, um, they've been going for like around 50000 to 80000 depending on, you know, if they're on the cul-de-sac and where they're at. And like I said, they're all about the same size. Some might be a little bit more than the quarter acre and so that you would get up closer to the 80000 So if you're interested in, in getting the lots, um, just give me a call because I can help you out with getting the lots too. But in the meantime, let's go check out some of these trails that, that are around Palm Coast. Something you'll notice around Palm Coast is you're going to see a lot of signs like this. And that's because there's so many trails and parks in the area, and they give you the directions and the mileage to get to them. It's so abundant in this area that, I mean, they're all over the place. That's one of the reasons why this is such a great place to live. Something else, something else you'll notice in Palm Coast is all these walkways and trails you got for whether you're walking or if you want to ride your bike. Now, if you don't want to be on the sidewalk and prefer to just ride down a dirt trail, well, there's plenty of those around here too. And what if you're tired and you just need to take a break? Well, they've even got benches set up for you too. It's great. You can either take a nap or enjoy the view. Hey, are you a golfer? Then Palm Coast may be the place for you because they've got eight golf courses here in Palm Coast and they're all 18 holes. Now, I don't golf personally, but if you're a golfer, this could be just an added plus for you living in Palm Coast. You know, Palm Coast was a planned community, so as in most planned communities, they have a town center and that's where I'm at right now in the town center, but I like to call it the town center area because it's not like what you think with the regular town centers. Now this one here happens to have a Publix as an anchor in this in the strip shop here. And there's a lot of little restaurants and other shops. But also there's another uh, shopping center like this where Target is the anchor further down. 
And then there's like stores all through and there's a movie theater further down. So it's like a town center, town center area is what I would call it. Because I don't really think it took off like they wanted to. And then elsewhere in Palm Coast, there's a lot of other businesses. In fact, Palm Coast has well over 3,000 businesses in there. But like I said, they still call this the town center. Hey, what I want to do now is take you down Palm Coast Parkway and we're going to drive down it so you get to see what it's like. It's a long stretch that has all these businesses. It, you know, not like the town center with a few like that. I mean, everything seems to be down Palm Coast Parkway. And then what's cool is after we get past all the businesses and stuff, then you're going to get into this area that's like a nice drive where you start having the nature trails and stuff like that and we'll show you. So the best way is to look at it is from the car so you can see what it's really like. And uh, now it's a little bit of a drive, so if you want to, you can just fast forward past it, you know, until you get to a spot that you want or towards the end when we go towards the nature, nature-like trails and stuff like that. But we're gonna get ready to go take it for a ride now and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, before we take the ride here, I just want to give you a map view of where we're going so that you can kind of follow along, you know, from seeing what it's like on a map and then where we're actually driving. And let me start off with where we're at here. Here's Palm Coast. And it, Palm Coast is this, like, it's the light shaded area, that whole area. So it's a pretty large area. Now, where I was just at, at that town center, let's zoom in here. And you're going to see right, right there, you see where it has the public supermarket at the Palm Coast Town Center. Okay, that's where I was standing in that parking lot when I said it was the town center, that area there. And you'll look and you'll see this whole area right here is kind of called the town center. Um, if you see right here, they've got theaters and that's all part of their town center. Then over here, you've actually got Town Center Boulevard, which is way over here on the other side. And you see a couple of other things that are highlighted here, like Central Landings at Town Center, Imagine School at Town Center, so forth. It's like I was saying, it's like a, a large area. It's not all concentrated in one part. And then right here, a little bit below, you can see where I was telling you about that other, other place where they've got the Target as an anchor store there. And so that's, that's even further away. So this is a large area. It's not a concentrated part of the Town Center. Now, where we're going to take a drive, I'll show you where that, where all these other businesses are, what we're fixing to go on, but I'll just give you an idea of where we're going. Okay, it's going to be Palm Coast Parkway we're going to go on. And right here you see you've got US-1 right here, and I'm going to be turning off of US-1 right here, and we're going to be going down Palm Coast Parkway. Now it splits up between a north and a south. But as you can see, let's zoom in a little bit, you'll see more of the businesses. Like there you see you've got the Walmart, you've got the Home Depot, uh, you got a Lowe's. Uh, so you've got a lot of business here. As you zoom in, of course, you've got the, the Publix, the Kohl's, the CVS, all kinds of things. You know. So we're going to be following the south end that comes down. And then it comes back together again. And here's I-95. Okay, so we'll be crossing over that, and I'll point that out. You notice you got some hotels and stuff here, and then we'll be going across here. And this is, once we get away from all these businesses, then this is where I'm talking about. You're going to see the drive gets really nice, because Palm Coast, like I said, does have a lot of green area, and you're going to see that in this drive, and that gets us closer to some of these nature trails I was talking about. And then we're just going to take it to the end here. We're not going to go across this bridge here. Now, that's bridge if you want to go over. It's a toll bridge there. But we're, we're going to end up over in this area here. And then I got something special to show you once we, once we park there. So let's go, um, let's go get ready to take this ride. And I just wanted to give you a little idea of where we're going so you can see it and you can follow on a map. Okay, we're going to be turning right here off US-1. And we're going on the Palm Coast Parkway. And just like I was showing you on the map. So this is going to be... Like I say, the most um, most businesses that you're going to find. It's like a main highway. As you can see here, it's a four-lane highway. Uh, it's pretty nice the way they got it set up, and they've got a divider here. And uh, we'll just notice um, as we drive along, we'll we'll you'll be able to see the businesses and all along here. 
And like I said, you know, if uh, the drive lasts, lasts for a little while here, uh, maybe about like, uh, I don't know, maybe about nine, ten minutes. So if you wanted to skip through this and get to more of the Palm Coast area, you can. But I just wanted you to see what it looks like uh, driving through and then when we get to the nature part. And then when we get to some stoplights, we'll, we'll um, you know, instead of just filming through that, you know, I'll just skip through that. So you'll see that in the video as I skip through. And see, so as you see, um, we got businesses off to the sides, and um, here is where um, it it splits apart, um, as we saw on the map. Um, so you got this, you've got the south end of the parkway, and then the north ends over on the other side, and there'll be businesses in the middle. So we'll have businesses here on the right, in the middle, and then over on the other side of the uh, north side parkway. So as you can just see. And again, notice how, you know, even though you've got a lot of business, it's kind of hard to see some of them sometimes because, like I say, Palm Coast, um, they did a pretty good job of having a lot of green space. So there are a lot of trees. Here you see some new construction going on. Um, there's still plenty of room for construction, new businesses coming in. Um, you know, it's, it's just a growing area. Um, so it's all pretty good. And like I was saying, you, you got plenty of trees and green spaces there. There we got a Dollar General off there to the right. And just several businesses. And you'll see the Aldi and things like that. And then you've got the Publix and the Walmarts and all that in this area. So, and as we come up to this light here, you know, if it's, it's going to take us a little while, then uh, we won't just keep filling while we're sitting here uh, we'll we'll go past this okay as we start heading out um, as you notice you've got everything around here you've got gas stations you've got banks you know um, insurance companies you know of course you know the grocery stores and just and restaurants all over the place so, and you can see that traffic moves pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's well designed, well designed place. Um, now they do have a rush hour. You know, I mean, when you start getting close to the five o'clock, you know, but it's still nothing like being in the in the big cities. So, this is all pretty good. Yeah. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. No one thought I was beeping at them. Let's see. Uh, and pretty soon we'll be getting up to you know I-95. But like you say, there's just just shops shops everywhere. And like I said, you know when traffic slows down and all, then you know I'll speed up through it to kind of make the video go a little quicker. all these other roads that cross over that take you into different um, different developments you know from here but this is this is your main business drag so we're getting close to 95 right now and here's going to be the I-95 overpass and see this is another thing that's nice about Palm Coast where it's at um, we came off of US-1 which was a nice four-lane road and then here you got I-95 so to access Palm Coast you know um, it's easy from I-95 and then also, if you need to get into go to Jacksonville, or you want to head, you know, down towards you know um, Daytona, or even you know Orlando area, it's real easy to get onto it right here. So from wherever you are. So now we're going to get past here. Once we get past I-95, you know, we have still a, a a little ways here of some businesses that you see, and shortly after the businesses, like I was telling you. We're going to get more into that uh, green space, where it'll be a nicer drive, probably after this light up here. There we go. So, and then after after this is where they have like more of those like walking trails and um, and the um, things for the bike bikes, bike trails, things like that. So. Okay, we're back going again. 
places. That right there was Old Kings Road intersection, and that's pretty much near the end of the businesses. And you see what's nice too, like I say, with this highway here, you got a lot of turning lanes too, so uh, for people to turn off and all. Again, you got businesses in the middle and then off off to the side. So, okay, here we start getting into more, you know, of of the green area. And from this point, it'll be a nicer drive. station all that see how you got a nice canopy of the trees you know over you know and I, I mean it, it really is nice and this is this is also uh, the road you could take um, to get you over to the beach too um, um, there's a bridge that shortly up up the way that'll take you over there and then you've got some other um, other developments and, and, and all around in this area Over there on the right, we've got the college. Again, more just nice green space. Um, some places for people to ride their bikes. And we're getting closer, closer to the end. But, I tell you what, this here, this is a nice ride. If you got a motorcycle, it's really a nice ride. Uh, enjoy this on a nice day like this. Some more communities and all around the area and here. You know, some of them you know are gated, some are not. There's a sign telling you A1A, and that's where the beach would be. You know, if we're going, if we're going up to the, if we're going up to the beaches. So, straight ahead is where you've got the. Um, that's the toll to get across the bridge to go across to get to the beaches. But we're going to come over here on uh, another area. And see, there's more vacant land up for sale. And then over there on the left, there was something that was kind of abandoned that I guess they're going to be revitalizing uh, and redoing. So there's plenty of room around here for more business to grow. And this road here will take us into some more, um, some more businesses and um, also um, like uh, some more um, communities. And actually communities that uh, have... Um, access to canals that take you into the intercoastal waterway. So there's that bridge that takes you across. That would be the toll bridge there that we saw that, that would take you over to the beach because the beach not very far. We're, we're, near, we're right near the water here. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm just going to turn in here to park. Go. And uh, I'm going to go park here, and then I've got something pretty neat to show you. So um, I'm going to go do that. I guess while these people here switch drivers, and uh, and I'll I'll show you what what's in this little area. Hey, something neat in, in Palm Coast is this place called European Village. A bunch of shops, restaurants, little bars. It really does look like a European village inside. And then all around it, on above the, the shops and the restaurants, are condos, are these condos. And they have these like little balconies that come out where folks sit out and they just watch the people shop. I mean, this is such a cool place. Here, let's check it out inside.
happen for a good reason, okay? We, we just saw a European village, okay? Right here, you can see on the map where the European village is right there. And that's where we're at right now. But I want to show you what's close to this European village. It's outrageous, especially if you're looking to relocate here. And if, especially if, you, if you've got a boat and you want access here to the intercoastal. Let's just spread this map out a little bit. And just as soon as we get out of the European village, you go along Palm Harbor Parkway and you got this Palm Harbor area. Now check it out. All this waterway, the saltwater canals, and they all lead to the intercoastal. Now these, these are all man-made and they were dug out, you know, for drainage to, you know, one time when this whole area was developed. But check it out, the property you've got all around here that's available and also over here in this section. So this is a large area that has homes that are on canals that lead to the intercoastal. And then from the intercoastal, that leads to, to the ocean at some point through an inlet. Now, to go to the inlets, you, you've got to go up the intercoastal. You're going to hit a lot of no-wake zones. So it'll take a while to get to it because you go like up to St. Augustine or you can go, you know, a little bit further south, New Smyrna. But it's still going to be an enjoyable ride. And those are the those are the two closest inlets to go out. There is another inlet before that about where the fort is, but up here, but it's it's kind of treacherous to get in there. So it's it's not for navigation. Now, some people go through it, you know, maybe at high tide, but it's it's i think it's the only um inlet that isn't dredged in the state so it's an it's all natural so it does have an ebb and flow where it it does change but to be able to to get a home on on the water on on a canal that leads you to the intercoastal is pretty cool now there are vacant lots even available here just like all through palm coast even though you, you've got a whole range of homes. I mean, you'll find homes from the 80s and 90s, you know, maybe 10 years ago, something like that. But there's also a lot of vacant property still. So that means you've got a lot of newer homes. And it also means you have the chance to build a newer home. Now, in this particular area right here, where you have access to these canals, to the intercoastal, um, lots go for they'll go for anywhere from around say around 250 to 350 depending where they're at um the homes um generally you'll see them like in the fives but a lot of them are in the sixes and sevens and of course some of the bigger homes you know can go upwards towards a million dollars and also what's nice is just like you know here just like most of palm coast a lot of lots you'll see are quarter acre lots or greater so you've got you've got plenty of room now what if you've got a boat you want to live in palm coast you want access to the intercoastal but you can't afford to live here in palm harbor well, no problem because palm coast has several public boat ramps here check it out right here in the palm coast area you got four public boat ramps so even if you choose to live inland a little bit further you still can take your boat out and enjoy time on the water with with all all these ramps so i just wanted to stop and show you that because it it's so neat and, and another thing too there's also over in this area um right around here well here's the palm coast marina so there is a marina there so people can dock the boats there it's a pretty nice marina but there's also some condos in this area now the condos i believe you'd have to check with the condo association if you wanted to get a condo there that mean it'd be cheaper than buying one of these homes and they may at times have uh, slips available i believe you'd have to purchase it with them to uh to dock your boat and let's just uh, let's see if we can just change this to the satellite view real quick, so you get a better idea. Like you can see that all the boat slips. See, so see all the condos around there, and then you see the boat slips. And of course, there's the marina. And then here's just a better view of you know Palm Harbor. You know all the homes, and you see a lot of boats out there, folks that have them. So it's just a really cool area, and I just wanted to show that to you before we move on to to something else. So. Now that I've shown you that, let's go look at another reason that you may want to live in Palm Coast. 
Hey, one great thing about Palm Coast is their parks. They've got a lot of parks. You combine that with all the parks and all the trails for riding bikes and also hiking, and it's just a fabulous place to live. Hey, today I'm at Waterfront Park that I'm going to show you, and we're going to take a look down there by the water, but also there's some trails I'll show you too where you can hike or ride a bike. First thing you notice as you're coming towards the park is you've got these nice wide sidewalks, which are signature to Palm Coast. So you've got plenty of room for bicycles and pedestrians. Now as you get into the park, now you got your choice. You can run on these dirt roads if you want, or dirt paths if you want, or ride and walk through the preserve area on the concrete sidewalks, these wide sidewalks. Yeah, that's right, they got them going through some of the preserve area. So it's beautiful, you don't have to be on the dirt if you don't want to. And here at the park, there's also these large picnic tables. And then you can see they've got, they've got a grilling station behind you so you can grill out here while you're enjoying the waterfront. Also, there's a children's playground right next door. And here we're at the waterfront. And of course, it's got a nice dock and a nice area where you can go fishing or just hang out. And all along the, the waterfront here, there's these little pavilions with tables to sit at or there's seating where you just want to relax. This is really a great park. You know, Palm Coast has so much to offer. It really is a great place to live, and now I can see why everyone wants to move here. And as far as affordability, you can get into new homes or even some resale homes a lot less expensive than other parts of Florida or other parts of the country. So you just got one question now to ask yourselves, can you live in Palm Coast?